because children are very, very over-sentimentalized, you know. Really. They are, aren't they? All the mini, 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 mini stuff. And what are they? And the charities they have. They go on and on and on. You know, children who need another biscuit. Children who <laughs> want their own Jeep. Children, children in need. When is the last time you saw a child who wasn't in need? When is the last time a child said to you, actually, that's enough raspberry tart for me, thanks. <laughs> I'm just going to go and clean the car, okay? <laughs> what are they really, children? Midget drunks, that's what they are. <laughs> you know what they are, people who greet you in the morning by kneeing you in the face? <laughs> Talking gibberish! <laughs> and you hate you and you All day. They, they can't even walk straight. If you put them on an infinite radial plane, they will find the one pedal there and devote their whole day to banging their eye off it. So you have to drive them to an emergency room when you're doing something important, like sitting down. They want drunk people's food, you know? You say, what, what are you eating for tea? Tiramisu, fried in sugar. They talk like drunks. Time for time for time for bed now. Be bedtime. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get into the bath. No! Get out of the bath. No! Do something that's not mindless violence for five seconds, will you? No! In Britain, they passed that law. You know, you're not allowed to physically educate your child anymore. <laughs> and I found it was rather sad and I used to bound home from work to strike my children. But, um, <laughs> keep in touch, but the, the, uh, there are only so many different ways you can say to a child, please don't turn the light switch on and off again. <laughs> You have absolutely nailed down the principal finding of this experiment. When you turn it off, Daddy can't see anything. He stands on your toys trying to find you and kill you and breaks his foot. The children know the power they have then, you know? You're morally obliged to stop whatever you're doing at that point and go over and have an encounter because <laughs> otherwise they just won't know. And they're, I, mean, I, mean, I don't think children are the same now. They're not the, like the ones I remember from growing up, you know? Being at parties and you do all the childhood things, running around and bleeding and <laughs> torturing the weakest member of the group, you know? <laughs> Simple childhood games. It's not like that anymore. I went to a birthday party recently young person, they were all about ten, and, and they, they, they were all slumped on the lawn like dead bumblebees, <laughs> drinking latte. <laughs> they were all disaffected, like Berlin in 1929, what's going on? I went up to one boy, I said, what's the matter here? He said, oh, I have a migraine. <laughs> what? You're ten, you can get drowned or electrocuted, you can't have a fucking migraine. <laughs> And the birthday girl, I, I asked her, I said, why isn't anybody playing? And she said, oh, it's all these parties. <laughs> you do your hair, you put your frock on, nobody talks to the real you. <laughs> Get me a martini, would you? <laughs> <laughs>